Hey everyone. Aurangzeb, the last of the Mughals, is the most hated monarch in the history of India. However, not just the Hindus and Sikhs, he was condemned by Muslims equally across the Indian subcontinent and the Islamic world. Interestingly, despite ruling more than 150 million people and being the richest man of his times, he was not hailed by the Muslim world. So today, let's know why was Aurangzeb condemned by his own religious rulers and leaders across the Islamic world? Let's start the video. But before that, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video. As soon as Muhyiddin Muhammad Aurangzeb, the third son of Shah Jahan, sat on the Mughal throne in 1658, he immediately found himself in violation of the Islamic law. When he declared himself as Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb Alamgir, his father Shah Jahan was still alive and had even recovered from his illness. Though Aurangzeb didn't show any remorse in killing his two brothers and the third one escaped to Burma but was later killed, he couldn't kill his father, the ex-emperor Shah Jahan. The reason being, while killing princely brothers was becoming a norm in Mughal India to get onto the throne, Killing one's father was still a heinous crime. So Aurangzeb rather than killing the old and ailing Shah Jahan imprisoned him and put him under house arrest in Agra. It is a well-known fact that Shah Jahan had abdicated his throne in the favor of his eldest son Dara Shuko, but then Mughal Empire had no concept of claiming the inheritance that is the legacy which has to be the rightful share that is passing the throne to the eldest son. This act of commandeering his own father made Aurangzeb an illegitimate king in the eyes of many Muslim rulers across the Islamic world. The Sharif of Mecca not only refused to recognize Aurangzeb as a legitimate Muslim but also rejected his presence of rupees 6 lakh 60000 that he had sent in 1659 to aid the holy cities. The Safavid king even mocked Aurangzeb for seizing the throne from his father and his regional title Alamgir meaning conqueror of the world. According to the Islamic ideas of those time, Aurangzeb's illegal snatching and taking by force of his father Shah Jahan's empireship was totally unjust. What an irony. Despite being an orthodox Muslim ruler, he was outcasted by his very own religious leaders. Aurangzeb besieged Adil Shah kingdom of Bijapur a Muslim state in between 1685 and 1686 in their quest to capture Bijapur the generals of Aurangzeb not only lit the villages on fire but also left no traces of cultivation ultimately causing widespread starvation declaring Bijapur as a Shia state Aurangzeb waged a holy war against them When Bijapur theologians begged the emperor for compassion on its people and even argued that fighting against fellow Muslim breaches Islamic law, Aurangzeb did not pay any heed. One of the local historians of Bijapur, Mirza Ibrahim Zubairi in his writings even accuses Aurangzeb for plague outbreaks in Bijapur. In 1663, when Saifuddin Khan was governor of Kashmir during Aurangzeb's reign, A dispute between Mirza Hussain Malik and one Sheikh Abdul Rashid of Srinagar led to communal riots across the valley and Shias were looted as well as killed. Next, Hussain Malik, the Kashmiri Shia, was killed on the order of Emperor Aurangzeb for blasphemy, which is great disrespect shown to God or to something holy, at the behest of Sheikh Abdul Rashid. In short, Alamgir was a shrewd Mughal ruler of the 17th century India who literally cared more about expanding his imperial power and less about people. He was no way a people's emperor, which is why reminiscence of his reign brings so much pain to the Muslims of the Indian subcontinent as it gives to the Sikhs and the Hindus. Well, that's it for today. I hope you're liking Nadi's discoveries. Can't wait for the next video to learn more and be fascinated about. See you on the next. Bye.